So today's video, I'm gonna be taking you around my day in the week. I'm So you guys can see how hectic this life really is like pre-treatment pre-surgery technically um and just how like crazy and busy i am I thought it would be um a good opportunity to kind of like show you guys how realistic this unfortunately lifestyle is once you've been diagnosed with cancer it's like you can't freaking die in peace <laughs> just kidding i'm not dying but i mean i don't think so so this thing that I'm trying to do where I'm showing you guys how hectic a week is for me. I'm actually starting on Sunday, I decided. I got home so tired. I'm at work and I'm like, I'm gonna do all of these things. But then I always come home, change to like the ugliest pajamas. Mm, and then I don't have enough motivation to, for at least an hour, I don't have enough motivation to do my work. But today's Sunday and Sundays are normally a very busy day for me so hey guys so it is Monday and it is 3 40 and clearly my lips are really dry I tend to do that when I'm nervous today was such a busy day I hope you guys can actually hear me I'll catch you guys up once I get home honestly I'm I'm really tired please hold while your call is being transferred Sorry, it's not available. Record your message at the time. This is Gloria. I'm just leaving you a message. I'm sorry, I'm not able to answer your calls. Let me help you today. I'm pretty sure they gave me your number um, a couple weeks ago because you would be my case manager. And that wasn't the case, so I kind of left, but I was still technically working because it wouldn't have been approved or it wasn't approved. Um, but now that I'm having the surgery date and uh, the short-term disability, my case manager, I guess, for my short-term disability. I am trying to get a hold of my FMLA case manager. The previous one wasn't working. Whole long story. My phone's not working now. <laughs> this is probably the easiest contact that I've had with my FMLA and short-term disability. This has been so freaking difficult. I just got off of work, so it's been one whole day, right? And I have like all of these messages i know that that's like a few technically but this is like a lot to sort through in like one morning and sometimes they'll send you more throughout the day i've only been going to md anderson for like two months and i get so many messages like this is overwhelming right now i'm just gonna watch a youtube video i literally have 10 12 minutes until my sister has to call me we have to get stuff for my mastectomy and then i have a ceremony which is like non-related i still haven't made myself any food i still have to clean the apartment i have to go i have to show you guys my closet i just reached out to two companies to try to get in contact with someone that is about my age and um wants to connect with me about breast cancer and about their journey continuously extend your claim as long as you have medical proof um okay so we're in my kitchen now because i do need to make a phone call to my sister but i also need to clean the apartment so i need to wash the dishes and we just have a mess everywhere i'm gonna have to sweep and like cat litter and stuff like that i actually ended up calling my case manager uh -huh. The FMLA one. My previous um, case had been closed. Now I'm gonna have to file a new claim, right? So I'm gonna get assigned someone new. Guys, I have not left the bed and I promise like I have actually left the bed, but it doesn't look like I have. I mean, I don't think anyone's like, oh, you're lying that you have so much stuff to do, but like I really do. We're just looking at Airbnbs and Airbnbs and we're talking about the payments and everything like that. Um, but right now I'm doing a ceremony. From a higher perspective, everything that we experience in life, whether we perceive it to be a wonderful blessing or a terrible misfortune or somewhere in between, always serves for our highest growth as spiritual beings and human bodies on this earth. Embrace your life experiences without judgment and trust in the knowledge that they all serve a purpose. And the energy for you to play with is seven of wands. This is the card that says of courage and challenges. If there's a feeling of feeling stuck to me, show me, show me where to go. But instead, this kind of energy or what guidance that I'm really receiving for you is instead, how can you begin to take a step forward and almost demand that you see the shift? So I'm showing you the day in the life. I'm always going to be wearing these pajamas. I'm going to just be like at home drinking some orange juice and uh, making phone calls again in these pajamas that are so ugly. Also, i um, watching New Girl. Currently, it is 11.42 and I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Also on Wednesday, so it's my, like my last day off, kind of officially before 
everything the ball gets rolling basically I'm gonna do some pole dancing and I think I would probably like film that with my phone I might have to go to the store and pick up some like some shorts because I don't really have shorts which is weird um, but yeah you guys have no idea how many times I've wanted to like just like not film anything it is the next day and yesterday was actually very very hectic and I didn't really touch up on like why all throughout like me working and everything like I was supposed to receive a phone call and even now I'm supposed to receive a phone call there was kind of a confusion as far as like my surgery date if you guys haven't seen this video I will post it on the screen but my mastectomy was scheduled let's just say it was scheduled on a Friday right sorry on a Monday because that's when they do surgery on the Friday it was when I was supposed to see my plastic surgeon for the first time I didn't feel comfortable with like having have having have met him like that late in the game also tomorrow's my day off thank freaking god so i didn't feel comfortable seeing him that late in the game so i said i won't i want to postpone the surgery when i was talking to my doctors it was on a friday telling them that i would want to postpone the surgery and my surgery date was coming up i was still getting notifications every day letting me know that i have to prep for my surgery and i was like i thought i postponed this the reason why i wanted to let them know on that friday that i wanted to postpone the surgery like if i told them then on friday and they tried to schedule everything on that friday um then my you know there was a better chance that like the surgery would be wouldn't be booked so so far away versus if i waited until the surgery date or you know you know a day before the surgery date to let them know that i want to push the surgery i'd have to wait like much much longer so that's why i let them know but then i was still getting notified that i was gonna have my surgery and i was like so confused so that on monday morning i was like oh my gosh like should i have it in the upcoming monday like if that's my only option what if i have to have to wait like you know a month and a half now and like what if this cancer has progressed and i was so stressed and i was at work it was like seven in the morning i was sending them emails back and forth while i was at my job like literally all monday morning and i was like oh my gosh maybe i'll have to get the surgery and i haven't bought anything and we haven't booked an airbnb yet and um no one was res responding because it has to be all through like their app and um i couldn't get on the phone with anyone i would call these numbers and they're like okay we'll have a social worker reach out to me to you and still to this day like, so it's tuesday it's already like the afternoon of tuesday i haven't had someone reach out to me as far as postponing the date if my surgery was coming up like someone should have responded to me but anyway i got a hold of the nurse practitioner which is like okay why don't i just have their numbers why don't they ever answer their phones like no offense mm -hmm. which i under actually i understand they're busy or whatever but it's like it's weird that they don't give you numbers it's like if you don't have their numbers like then you have to contact a social worker so i was calling all these different numbers leaving all these emails and then calling someone to call someone to let you know someone else know that i might want to change my my surgery date and then having to explain every single person that i was speaking to after i was being transferred my story about like hey it's coming up but i already told them that i want to postpone it and it hasn't been postponed but it's still saying that I, my surgery is coming up and to prep for it but um if that's my only choice can you find out when my next surgery date because my job has to know i, my, I need to book an airbnb etc cetera, etc cetera. it's like at work i'm like the test was kind of by speed and i wasn't going as fast because i was trying to respond to these messages and it's so stressful it's like i don't know so annoying i'm making some food and the daylight is leaving so i'm trying to film as much as i can here i was actually supposed to clean today but my sister had already cleaned which is great um and then tomorrow i'll try i'll try to film as much as possible typically i'm driving back and forth and unfortunately i feel like to get the full essence of like how hard it is like this day in the life kind of day in the week or whatever i'd have to show you like how much i'm traveling and how i'm living in a suitcase to be 100 percent real i'm planning to end the video on thursday because i just have to edit it to post it on saturday just know that this is like a little bit of the madness of all the callings and paperwork and blah 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 today i actually got out late so i didn't have any time to call anyone but tomorrow i have to do my taxes i have to make phone calls also last night i fell asleep with my makeup on because i was so tired and i've been doing that so often and i actually have horrible skin so that's like not what you want to do at all I have like really acne prone skin you can't really see right now because i have makeup on i'm stressed like i'm really really stressed hi hello welcome i promise i don't always look like this actually so i tattooed my eyebrows because i know i'm gonna probably lose my hair perhaps just kidding actually um i feel like i'm actually not funny like i say something and then i just like wait too long and then it's not funny anymore i actually am uh tinting them because i don't have any existing eyebrow hair in case you didn't know last night was successful i was falling asleep in my room but then my sister told me like i need to wake up 
and take off uh, my makeup. Last night, we were figuring out the money thing. I feel like it's so important for me to tell you guys just because like I'm trying to like make this as realistic as possible. We're figuring out the Airbnb thing. My goal is that like to have it all ready now as well as have all like um, the pillows that I need to get and everything else uh, checked off of my list. My mastectomy is um, not next Monday, but the Monday after. Um, so I just have a smoothie and I drink like more than half of it. I'm actually gonna show you the state of the apartment because yesterday I came home, my sister did clean a good portion of it. I have a lot of things to do. And today I did actually sign up for a pole dancing class because it's like classic me. If you've seen any of my videos, I like to try new things. And I have a lot of things to pay for, um, which is great. I'm gonna wash the dishes again. Um, because those get dirty all super often. And then um, then I'm also going to like make myself some tacos, uh, clean out my closet, and then we will start our day. I have a lot of cleaning to do and I want to show you my closet um, because I need to clean it. I have so much laundry in there. This is me cracking a cold one. It is. I love this tea so much. I know I could totally make it myself, but like this is when I just want to relax. I want to show you my closet. Are you guys ready? So this is what my closet looks like right now. I know it's a mess. Okay, so I have a suitcase and all my junk in here. I'm gonna have to figure something to do, figure out something to do with that suitcase and put all of this mess away. Um, so I'll see you guys in a second. So I think I did a good job. Um, it's about as organized as I can get it. I just have to do my bed. I got some things to, to give to Goodwill. When will I give it to Goodwill? I have no idea. The thing is, in vlogging time, it looks like I did all of this in like literally 10 seconds. But this is taking up my whole day. Let me see if I can enter the, the list of things I have to do today. Okay, you guys. I swear I left my house even though it looks like I haven't. Okay, the lighting here is the worst. Oh, the lights don't even turn on. I went into the dancer shop thing and I bought some shorts. I actually haven't even checked to see what time I have to go into my pole dancing class. This is as much as self-care that I've done for myself like in a long, long time. I actually don't have any shorts um, like just to wear out casually as far as like um, sportswear or whatever. I don't really do sports. You would know that if you like, if you like knew me. But what am I even saying right now? Like what, what am I talking about? I don't even, I love that dance shop because they always give you discounts. Okay, like, okay, no one actually cares about me talking about- I'm trying to edit some clips of mine. I think I've done, like, every phone call that I've needed to do. Okay, let's let's discuss a couple things. First of all, um, what is literally life right now? <laughs> like, for me, like, I just- Finally, after, like, I don't know, like, a month, I feel like I kind of have a little bit of a routine. And it's because I'm not, like, sleeping on my sister's couch. My other sister, the one that lives in Houston. All those things that I talked about previously, the pillows and bar is, you know, mastectomy goes. And as far as Airbnb goes and paying blah, 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 I don't know what. All it has to be still figured out. This was something that I was so scared about. So I'm gaining weight for sure and losing muscle, which is natural. That happens when you're not being as active. And it's really just because of COVID, but also just because I've just been so much more busier. Like I'm over here really trying to post so often but it's so i can start getting paid by youtube so again like and subscribe if you like this kind of content like you know all the phone calls and all my downtime this is what i do and then at the end of the day i start falling asleep but like at nine i just like knock out and i don't even take off my makeup or anything like that okay so let's talk about fitting in therapy into your routine i haven't been able to schedule therapy at all since i've had it which was i don't know like maybe a month ago see the thing with therapy is i would say like i understand my emotions a little bit better than the average person so starting from the beginning is kind of difficult which is what i've been doing at, at first i was looking for like a nice therapist but now 
I'm kind of looking for someone that's a little bit more rough, like a life coach almost, but that's still a therapist um, because that, that's covered by my insurance. Insurance is such an important topic. What is this? This is what I'm using to edit. Also just want to talk about you guys how much time I don't have by, as you can tell like in these videos, just like phone calls that I've been having to make. Actually last night I stayed up so late because I was trying to join. I didn't have a Facebook, but I got a Facebook so I can, and I was like clearing out my old Facebook because it has like weird photos so that I can join like the breast cancer cancer communities so that I could speak to someone that's about my age that has had breast cancer and just trying to answer emails which again I'm drowning in them if you guys don't know you get so many phone numbers and when th within those phone numbers they g they give you more numbers oh and Airbnb I'm planning to stay there for a month I don't have time but I'm still making time to like film these videos if I'm washing my dishes but I still have to think about like let's just say I'm washing my dishes and I still have to think about filming that takes like extra time like all of these things actually take extra time if I'm filming as well I, I, basically I'm just complaining to you <laughs> so basically AYA this is like a part of um one of the resources that I'm in young adolescents and something adults adolescents and youth i don't know something like that <laughs> on the screen i'll put it there is this instagram it covers a lot of topics on aya and why it's so difficult just young people that have cancer and how different it is from someone that is like older you know, with a family versus someone that's like 20 something 19 aya challenges losses of identity and independence like literally yes like yes and just like grief in general for be like losing a part of you social isolation just social isolation in general like you feel like people don't get it which is why i like redownloaded facebook which i don't even really downloaded facebook and i'm like reaching out like really checking my my messages because i just want to connect with someone else that is going through something that i am like my friends are so supportive but they just i want to speak to someone that like understands is making the same decision emotional and mental distress i'm feeling so much better i don't know sometimes i wake up and i feel like i've already had the surgery there is going to be a loss of identity i guess i don't know what other way to phrase it but like after i wake up and i don't have that anymore this won't look like that anymore stuff that i've never decisions that i've never ever ever had to make this in my life they asked me about whether or not i think i want kids and i'm like i've literally like this is not something that i'm thinking about like and i get like a lot of women are thinking about this in my age but like what about the people that feel like they have the rest of their lives which that's another thing life is short you're not guaranteed a full full old life really tough decisions that i have to make the fact that i postponed my surgery which could possibly progress my cancer is giving me the ability to breathe better but postponing it and have been waiting for you know this to develop so long could lead to heavier side effects because of heavier aggressive treatment because of the development of my cancer financial toxicity like it's something that i've just been talking about because i feel like i need to be so real about this like no one else is talking about this i want to open up this conversation as well as missed school and job opportunities school is another thing but job opportunities like i don't even know what that will look like for me like I'm, i haven't even thought that far another discussion that i want to open up is just like the fact that like several people have told me that this is like a boob job which like i know people are trying to be supportive and they just don't really know what to say but it's not a free boob job like it's totally different like this is like trauma okay like let's talk about the the issue about like you don't actually look sick or you don't look sick or whatever i haven't had anyone tell me that just because i haven't really told that many people i just don't feel comfortable doing that even to me my like i actually i look like a normal person i really really do what happens if i just don't do it like I look the same. How do like how is it possible that there's something a disease in me that's trying to kill me? I don't feel sick either. It's just like how did this happen? I never knew how important and I keep shaking the camera. I'm so sorry. I never knew how important like having humor is in all of this. I never knew how important laughing <laughs> like through all of this, which I'm still, it, it's so freaking hard, but you have to make jokes. Let's take a scenario, which I actually heard on a podcast. So <laughs> it's not my idea completely. It was like this therapist that had had ca breast cancer and you're, you know, have to make a speech and you get so nervous about it that, you know, the couple days before, and then you, your, your body feels that anxiety and it makes you want to throw up. And if, you know, you're having all these sweats and your body's reacting basically. So the negative, it could cause your body to, react in some negative way so it is so important to make jokes out of stupid shit. i make 
making jokes about the fact that like what if they take out all of this area and after they take it out they're like wow only one mass so one mass that we checked um or the two masses sorry that we checked were the suspicious ones so really she didn't have to lose her her whole <laughs> her whole rest I'm definitely trying to get monetized on youtube like every day it's something that i look forward to every day after posting a new video i check on my on my laptop to make sure that like my numbers are going up it will help me so so much mentally like there's just no resting time and I don't have time to answer to my friends through text like I have to actually set a time like which is right now which is like my one day off to respond to messages you really never know what someone's going through like I have people asking me like if I'm ignoring them and I'm just like I'm going through so so much I work at a supermarket right and all of my family is so supportive right luckily I'm not doing it alone this is why I like listening to podcasts because it feels like I'm having a conversation with someone which we already know that that's what podcast makes people feel like can we also talk about I'm sorry I have so many ideas I have so many thoughts running through my head can we also talk about how I'm like well fuck it my life is short I've always wanted to do certain surgeries to myself so like might as well I know this is stupid and like I keep changing my mind like I always change my mind so don't just like believe me on this but like I've always kind of wanted to kind of fix my nose. I feel like I'm already regretting saying that because like I'm thinking about it and then sometimes I'm like, love my life. Like I feel like I look fabulous. Even though like I'm growing into my nose, it looks fine now. I am, because I work at a supermarket, I'm desperately looking for someone that is like me. Anyone that's wearing like a pink ribbon or anything like breast cancer, I, I will lick like read every single person's shirts to to see if there is someone like me where i could just ask just want to hear another woman in my real life tell me like hey i've been there this is what i look now i feel okay and it's not the end of the world and you are going to be okay Okay guys, I just got out of class and I am sweating. It felt like so short actually. Yeah, I forgot to do my taxes and then I think I have some lines that I have to join but I think I'm gonna go shower first because I don't like being in my sweat. And then I also have to make my food. Yeah, so here it is. Hey you guys, so I just got out of from work. But yeah, I have to go pack and then um, pick up a Starbucks. Do you need a receipt? Um, no, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm good with that one. Thank you. plastic surgeon to come in and um, unfortunately I won't show any of that I just... I'll give you guys updates later thank you guys so much for watching I would also like to just add in please subscribe and like if you like the kind of content that I am posting and if you want to see more just because it helps me out so so much and I'll see you guys super duper soon bye guys